Happy Halloween, boys and girls. Are you excited to go trick-or-treating tonight? Today we're going to read Clifford's Halloween by Norman Bridwell. The other day we read Clifford's first Halloween. This is the newest Clifford Halloween book. I'm Emily Elizabeth, and today is a holiday. It's my favorite day of the year. She's excited. This is my dog Clifford, and today is his favorite day too. With a big red dog like Clifford, every day is fun, but holidays are the most fun of all. <clears throat> At Christmas, Clifford makes a very good Santa. He already has a red coat. Do you think Clifford looks like Santa? And on New Year's, we stay up until midnight so Clifford can blow his New Year's horn. It sure is loud. Happy New Year! On Valentine's Day, Clifford is my favorite Valentine. And you should see Clifford on Easter. He makes a wonderful Easter bunny. On April Fool's Day, Clifford never plays tricks on anyone. You see those boys with that string tied to that bone? As soon as Clifford goes for the bone, they're going to pull the string and make it go out of the way. They're going to trick him. No one plays tricks on Clifford. Oh dear, Clifford got the bone. And now he's pulling the boys. On Thanksgiving, Clifford gets a great big turkey all by himself. He's going to eat the whole turkey. But today is the best holiday of all. You know what today is. Halloween! Last year we dressed, excuse me, last year we had a big Halloween party and I dressed as a pirate. But I didn't know how to dress Clifford. <clears throat> Daddy thought Clifford would make a good devil. He is red. I wanted him to be a clown. Or maybe a witch. But Clifford, he wanted to be a ghost. When the children came to the party, nobody could guess who the big ghost really was. You think they knew it was Clifford? We had fun, and we bobbed for apples. Bobbing for apples, you have to try to Try to get the apple without using your hands. It's in a big, big tub of water. Clifford wanted to play too. Oh dear, it got stuck on his nose. And the 
water dumped out. <clears throat> we played another game with apples. This time you have to try to get your apple. Again, without using your hands. You just have to use your teeth to bite the apple. Clifford won that game. He has a big mouth. He can get the apples. No problem. Then Mommy told us a ghost story, but we weren't afraid. We had the biggest ghost on our street to take care of us. Clifford won't let any, any bad things happen, will he? He'll protect you. After the party, Clifford and I went trick-or-treating. We didn't have much luck, but we didn't mind. Big giant ghost coming to your house, and look, everybody's running, running the other way. They're scary. This costume is too scary. It was time to go to bed anyhow. Halloween was over. And now, Halloween has come again. I'm not going to be a pirate this year. I'm going to be a fairy princess, but what should Clifford be? Hmm, what should Clifford be? <clears throat> An Indian? That would be a good costume for Clifford. A knight. Think that's what Clifford should be? Hmm, what do you suggest? What would be a good costume for Clifford? You can let me know in the comments. What do you think Clifford should dress as? The end. Clifford's Halloween. I hope you enjoyed the story. Hope you have fun trick-or-treating. Be careful. Stay with mom and dad. Make sure you come by my house. Bye-bye.